Hello and welcome to the Reboot Speedrun tutorial. This is the beginner route for level 7. Uh, level 7, the start of Beverly Hills, is really where the game starts to pick up in difficulty. In this level, just start by going left and going through this corridor to get to the first tear. Uh, you'll notice that each of the tears only take 10 seconds to spawn. Uh, they're very quick, one after another. Uh, this tear, this first tear, is one of the most difficult tears in the game to mend. It was very difficult for me when I was just starting out running. This statue can kind of just do whatever it wants. Sometimes it used to just walk up to me and beat me to death with the tear. It's a problem. Once you get good at mending tears, you can usually mend this one before the statue has much of a chance to do anything. Uh, but if you're taking your time with it, it pretty much only gets harder. So, in this room, uh, you'll notice the doors are numbered 1, 2, and 3. Door 1 has the second tear. Door 2 will have the third tear. There are some fairly difficult to fight turrets behind door 1 where the second tear is. So I actually recommend uh, going to door 2, drop right down into this pit, and turn right back around. There's an invincibility power up right here. You can pick this up and then go ahead into door number 1 and mend the tear. Ideally, you can mend this before the invincibility runs out. That tear can be fairly difficult to manage. Uh, tears on water substances like this just seem to throw you around more and more. Uh, well, you still have the invincibility, if you can, try to take out these turrets. Um, if you ha if you did pick up the level 2 blaster upgrade uh, back in level 5, they should be fairly easy to take out. If you still have the level 1 blaster, they can be a little tougher, but you can still manage it. After you've taken them out, uh, you can go through this room to get up to this door. This door will take you to the first key. There's just a little path you have to go through. A few more turrets that, I mean, you can avoid them if you're if you're careful. Um, as well as some rotating pillars that you need to jump through. It is possible to jump, ah, to jump along the sides of them as they're rotating. It's just the timing's a little tight, but you can do it. Yeah, like that. And then this is where the first key is. Uh, there is another way to get up to this key that is much faster, but a little bit harder. I'll show that in a minute. Uh, after you have this, tea, this key, go ahead and drop down back into this pit and mend the tear. There are a bunch of enemies in this room, but they're usually kind of bad at aiming at you as long as you're down here. So as long as you don't spend too long trying to mend the tear, uh, you, you have plenty of time to take care of it. If you didn't pick up the invincibility yet, you can pick it up now. Uh, and then mend the tear if you're worried about that. For the next key, there are a couple of ways to get to it. One of them is you can jump onto this platform where the invincibility was, and then go along these three platforms. This is kind of the intended way to do this. And then jump from this platform with the health pickup to the key. An alternate way to get that key is, after mending the tear, jump up here to where this turret was. Uh, and you can jump from this platform right over here. This is a bit faster. The turret that is on this ledge is kind of in your way, but as long as you're up against this left wall, you should be able to make the jump fairly easily. Now, I said there was an alternate way to grab the first key. Uh, this jump isn't too hard, but it's a little tricky, and it's after you grab the key that's directly above me. Uh, you can go up this slope and jump up here straight up to the key. 
It's, it's a little tricky, but it's not too unreasonable. You can also do a similar jump to get up to this key, but this jump is much, much harder. I, I won't be going over that in this video. After you have uh, the two keys and all of the tears in this room, go ahead and go through this door and head into door number three. I am not usually at this low health, so I'm gonna going to grab a health pickup if I can, if I don't die right here. There we go. Okay. Head into door number three, and you'll come into this room. If you just follow the way this water curves, you'll find a doorway right here. Follow this path. Uh, take out the turrets if you want to. Again, there's a bunch of bombs along here, as in other recent levels, but the bombs do not have much health. Or, the bombs do not take up much health. You're fine to just bust through them, usually. I recommend taking out the turret that's next to the key here. Uh, it can kind of just be in your way physically when you try to make this jump. So just throw a few blaster shots at it to take it out. And then pick up the key. After picking up the key, turn right around and go back through this path. Do not go back into that other room. Uh, you'll drop down here and go through this doorway in the corner. There's another health pickup right here. They get, this level does give you quite a bit of health, uh, which is nice because it's very difficult. There's a lot of turrets here. Like I said, this is really when the game starts picking up in difficulty. After you pick up this health, you'll see these boxes moving around. Just work your way through this path. Try to jump over the gap right here. Uh so that you can grab the extra life that's right here. This is one that does not take much time at all to snag, and extra lives are always good in this game. And then after you have that, uh, drop down here and go through this path. You'll notice sometimes these boxes get weird. They're not supposed to be doing this. Th this just happens sometimes. This is a weird game. I. I wish I had an explanation. I do not. <laughs> they just they just kind of do whatever sometimes. They break off their track. Anyway, after you go through this corridor uh, with the boxes, just go forward and jump, and you'll go straight through the fourth and final key in the level. You will get the vid window cutscene. Uh, after that, go to the left and pick up this rocket upgrade. This is mandatory for finishing the game, practically. And then after picking up that upgrade, you can jump up to this vid window and finish the level. If you have any other questions about the level, feel free to ask in the comments below, or let me know in the Discord.